Alrighty. Uh, yes, we'll play first. Woo! I got this. Huh. Um, and this hand also tells us that we got this, so let's keep. So, turn one island curse catcher. Hey there. I'm playing against the Sneaky Pete. It's kind of a cool name. All right, island, curse catcher, blue. Your turn. Yeah. Grixis is just kind of disgusting. And it's everywhere right now. So we've got blue, white with CRM visions. It could be Jeskai Twin or Jeskai Control, or maybe even Blue White Control. All right. All right. So we could Phantasmal Image Curse Catcher. That's not great. We could. What? I already played my land for turn on accident. So I yeah, I don't think Phantasmal and Curse Catcher is a good plan anyway. So we're gonna go ahead and just cast Harbinger to get him in there to beats. We don't know that it's twin. Uh if it is twin, holding Harbinger is good, but we don't know that it's twin. Oh, ad nauseum maybe? I don't really know ad nauseum very well. Blue white control is definitely a thing, and every time I've played them, they've kicked my butt. So we're gonna hope it's not blue white control. Or I'm gonna have to like be very careful and make sure that I don't overextend, but I still, you know, do damage and stuff. It's an odd balance. They just seem to have a leg up on me for some reason. Which I'm not sure is the case against most people playing Merfolk, so I'm not sure where my issue is. In that in that pairing, but oh, well. you gonna let me hit you? You think so? He thinks I play either aggro or control, and not aggro control, which is where my problem is. That may be the case. But it's hard to find the right balance. So I swing too far one way or the other. I guess that's true. They don't normally run sea chromes. That's the fast land, right? Yeah. yeah. We got some of those in the mail today. Ha! Um, we're going to kind of mess around with blue-white merfolk. See how that feels. Yeah, in paper, of course. That's where we do most of our stuff. Lotus Bloom. Oh, this is ad nauseum. This is ad nauseum. Okay, so how does ad nauseum work? They draw their entire deck and then throw their lands at you. They draw. Is this the one with that Vesuvi land thingamajig? No. That, that one throws their lands at me. Lands at me too. What? That's no, there's the. There's one with the red land and it goes and gets all its mountains. That's scape shift. This draws their whole deck and then uses lightning storm to throw lands at you. Hold all the lands you can afford to. Hold them? Don't play my lands? Because lightning storm lets you throw it back at them. Yeah. Oh, we're throwing lands at each other? You'll have more than you, but. Speaking of your upkeep, remove a time counter. Yeah, but what does Lotus Bloom do? It's Black Lotus. It gives me free mana. Oh, okay. Black Lotus with suspend. Okay, we'll see how this plays out. So I don't play my lands, and I just try to beat them with what I've got. I hold at least one land. Okay. Okay, 
so if I need my lands to race, that's fine. And I've got two Master Wipes, so I feel like I really do. Alright, so I'm going to play Mutavault here. Um, we don't have a Lord to copy. Yeah, okay, so we're going to... We're still going to play... Not creature, tap for mana. Okay, bad habits. All right, phantasmal image. We're gonna copy harbinger. It gives us two devotion for master waves next turn, and it's a two-two. All right, so let's attack with what we've got. Okay, yeah, I guess. I mean, they wouldn't attack unless they knew what they were doing. I guess. I think racing to the master is really what I need to do. And my hand supports that. I can just go really wide so even if they can like one like one for one pick people off, I can still keep going. Hello. The sneaky Pete's being too sneaky. Yeah, that's very unlikely to have more lands than they have in their entire deck. Yeah, unless I'm like really flooding out, that's probably not a wise strategy. I think we can win in the early game, but we have to get there before his combo goes off. So you said it's ad nauseum, so what does that card read? Can y'all do the like exclamation point D thing? Thanks. Putting a storage counter on it again. Alright, reveal the top card of your library and put the card in your hand. You lose life, you will conserve mana cost, and you can do as much as you want. Oh, and then they do the one where they can't die that turn? Yes. Got it. Alright, so here is our plan in action. Mana, boom, boom, boom. Master of Waves. We're going to get six tokens this time, seven tokens next time. Oh yeah, it is lethal on my next attack step with these six. But it's so much fun to fill the board. That's why I have zombie tribal, like, crappy EDH deck that just lets me put a million zombies on the board and then lose. I actually put down, what, a hundred and something zombies one time? And we had tokens, like, we had 50 something tokens, zombie tokens. And then we, like, used spirits or something. Just because we, I wanted to, like, cover the table with zombies. It was really funny. Is, is Lotus Bloom coming off next turn? How do I look at Lotus Bloom on here? It has one counter. So He's going to try to combo next turn. So if he combos successfully, because I have Curse Catcher, so that might help. Yeah, but... But he has to ad nauseum and Phyrexian on life. Oh... Okay, well, oh right, okay, so he's going to have seven mana, yeah, copying Curse Catcher would have made a difference. He's going to have seven mana, which is five for a Nauseam, one for the Angel's Grace, and then one for Curse Catcher, but Phyrexion Life is more than one, but it's also an enchantment, so Curse Catcher can't do anything about it. Alright, so we just have to attack and hope he can't combo off. Next turn. Okay. 
Can I counter Lotus Bloom? Mm -hmm. Dang, it is an artifact. All right, Angel's Grace. So I should. Oh, it's split second, so I can't respond to it. As long as the spell is on the stack, players can't cast spells or activate abilities that aren't mana abilities. Okay, so, so I can't respond to Angel's Grace. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, now you curse Alright. Right, so I have to do that. The second curse catcher, yeah, they were able to play a land, so the second curse catcher is not enough. So they are gonna combo on me? But they can't lose this turn because of Angel's Grace. Alright, you can't lose the game this turn, your opponents can't win the game this turn until end of turn damage that would reduce your life to less than one, reduces it to one instead. He's at negative nine. He's at negative eight. Now he's at nine. Fourteen, fifteen. Oh my god! What the fuck? Ah! Yeah, so we're gonna like wish for a misclick and or punt or something. I'm gonna make him play it out. Always gonna make him play it out. Okay, so his deck is empty. It's all all fifty two cards are in his hand. And he took fifty one If what? Should I like like take every priority I can? F6 win. If he messes up. Read I where's like okay. Um uh, deals X damage to target creature player X is three plus the number of charge counters. Discard a land to put two charge counters. So it's a spell that does nothing. Or it's a spell so, that gets countered while it's on the stack. While it's on the stack, he can discard a land or counter land. When it resolves, it looks at the counters that it had on the stack. So if he passes prior All right, let me try to say that to what you just said. Um, he puts counters on Lightning Storm while it's on the stack. So if he passes priority to me while it's on the stack, then he's messed up, and I just say, okay, and it happens. But th wouldn't that kill me? No, it has no counters. It has no counters? Unless he discards land. So if, if he does not hold priority when he casts the spell, he can't discard land still because he passed priority. You have to hold control Oh, so he has to hit the control button while he does it. Huh. Do I just make him play it? Or is that a dick move? You gotta make sure he has enough land. Okay. How many? That many counters plus three. All right, so he's got it. Okay. So combo deck. We want. Swan Song and Spell Pierce and Vapor Snag is trash because I didn't see a single creature. Monastery Siege because he's targeting you. Monastery. Oops, not Vapor Snag. Ah! Monastery Siege because he's targeting me and that just taxes him. This member is useless. Um, Sig is not helpful because we need to aggro while we control. 
Um, Tech Edge, probably not helpful. Um, all right, so we got to take two guys out, probably Rage Rate, and that keeps our curve where we had it before. So everyone think that's a good deck to go with? I think so. Opinions? Yes, I did bring the Sieges in. Hmm. All my counter spells are in. I've got three Spell Pierce and two Swan Song. Yeah, cool. And my Curse Catchers, of course. I mean, I don't expect them to get to four lands. They didn't last time. Master is how I would have won the game last time. But Reader would have come out a turn earlier and actually won you the game. Oh. You don't get that many turns in this game. Yeah, I don't get enough turns. So Reader is earlier, so I guess I can do this. And one Master is good enough. Like, if I get it, I get it. What? Take this out and bring in Tech Edge because I need to hold up counters, so I need more lands. Oh, right. Okay. Let's try that. Right. Yes, please. Alright, Tech Edge, Mutavault, Island, Island, Aether Vial, and two Lords. So we keep this, and we play, no, we need counter magic. We don't have any counter magic. Mulligan. So now we've got two curse catchers, monastery siege. Oh, I should have taken out spreading seas. Well, crapola. Right, I'll keep this one. Island, curse catcher. Um, effing Seedra, I know, were you saying keep to the first hand or to the second hand? What's that? Hold up. Pay two life to add one to your mana pool. Oh, and tap. Can't be countered by spells or abilities. Okay, interesting. Alright, so... I think we spreading seize that so he can't do that ability. And we'll get another card. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Okay, so I I did second hint. Right. Okay, um so yeah, spreading seize is great. We're going to make his thing not be able to do anything and replace the card in our hand. Then attack with curse catcher. Yeah, I did get a threading Caesar by Jesu. They couldn't do anything about it. So we suspend, or Lotus Bloom lost his suspension counter. He's like, well, I guess I don't have to keep hide from Island Walk anymore. Yeah, I missed that. It's got. Oh, they've got a two and a three Lotus Bloom. Yeah, you need to be on the beatdown plan, not the spreading suspended. If they had a spread, if they had a, if they had a bloom suspended, you'd have to kill them with what was awesome. <sighs> I didn't know that. Basically, that puts the pure turns ahead. All right, so rear, rear Donj or Don J, whatever was right. So I should have been, I should be on the aggressive plan. So Silvergill here, Reveal Curse Catcher. Swan Song would have been good, but we, since we didn't get it, let's put our counter on board. And I can attack. That's true. I did. I only missed out on two damage by doing Spreading Seas. That turn, so I think it's ugh, gonna be okay. 
If they're combo, I really need to make sure that I'm covering my butt with control. They're a combo that runs free counter spells, though. You almost can't control them. I almost can't control because they're free counter spells. You almost have to have like four. All right, so that spreading seeds was a bad draw here. So I play Monastery Siege. Right. Um, which mode do I want to do, though? Because they're going to have a lot of mana, which is what they need. So they're going to get six. So uh, three turns from now, so that's nine mana. And then they'll have enough Simeon Spirit Guides, probably. So. And then Simeon Spirit Guides. But they target me, so that Monastery Siege does make it more expensive. Right. Like that 10 mana is enough still, even with my curse catchers and such. So I should loot un loot to relevant cards. Mm -hmm. So What? Right. All right, so you guys, um, even proper control talks, they multiple counter spells. So tax a storm card, use two blooms, so use one more mana. Yeah, so I really don't know the right decision in this, in this case. I don't think dragons is going to fin is going to save the game for me, so I think mm -hmm. I have to choose cons. Okay, we went cons. That's the loot. Because I don't think the tax would be enough. I'm nervous that cons was the wrong choice now. <laughs> I mean, it's not the end of the world. First thing that happens is I lose 60 play points and life goes on. I've been playing all of these games that I've streamed on like two dollars of tickets, so it's really okay. All right. Um. Or oh, my main, my second main. Go. So he's gonna get one of them this turn. Alright, so the being I no not use this ability. Okay, this draw an extra card I draw an extra card and then I discard it. I discard one. Okay. Alright, so my vial is useless. You think so? Okay, so I could land spreading seas just to cantrip. I'm still gonna be holding up spell pierce. Unless I get a lord, in which case I... No, I have four down. So I'll still be able to hold up spell pierce. So that's what we're going to do. So we're going to Spreading Seas. Bojesu again. <laughs> Alright. Well, in case he has a, ch a way of getting rid of one of them, now he has to get rid of two. Hopefully we get a lord. I got a tech edge. That's trash. So we're holding up Swill Pierce, and we're going to swing. Alright, next turn is where he's got all his mana. I had not tax him four on his combo. But Monastery Siege on cons may have helped us, because we drew Vile and then Spell Pierce. And we were able to get rid of Vile and hold a Spell Pierce. That's true. I could have played Spreading Seas first. Probably would have been wise to do so.
That's what I was thinking. I would rather play an island over Tech Edge, but a, like a Muta Vault might have been better. A Muta Vault probably would indeed have been better, so I should have waited. But yeah, they're not getting to four lands, so it doesn't... My tech edge is trash in my hand right now. Sleight of hand? He's digging for his pieces, so he doesn't have it right now. Look at the top two cards of your library, put one on your hand and the other on bottom. I already hit okay. Alright, I, I could have countered it, or tried to counter it to stop him from finding pieces. I'm not sure... Yeah, I mean... He still might not have found the pieces. Alright, so I got a lord and another lord. We're going to get rid of the tech edge. We can't lord, lord, and hold up spell pierce. Right, one is regery, so that's five. Oh, right, duh. Okay, so... We're going to discard Tech Edge, we'll play Regery first, which then when we play Master, we untap on Island. Alright, so, and that, so 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, that should be lethal this turn. Woohoo! Alright. Regery. Master. Regery untapping Island. This is when they can do stuff and I can't counter it. So they have to combo now or lose now. He does die to two lords. He's trying to combo now. Or at least not dying this turn. Okay. Oh man, this is so stressful and intense. Uh, I can double curse catch this, and it should stop it. I mean, if he has it again, then... Okay, this box needs to move. Alright, so, I mean, if he's got the combo again, he's got it on his turn, because I'll have... Oh, he had floating mana. Oh... I missed his floating mana. Yep. Well, crapola. Oh, well, anyway. All right. What you got? Pintad Prism entered the revealed. All right. So yeah, he is drawing his whole deck, and then he's got his Simeon Spirit Guides that he can. Whoa, sorry. His guides that he can discard to play his Storm thing. And then he can just lightning or discard his land. Really, it would the tax mode would have stopped it. Yes, Simeon Spirit Guide isn't targeting me. Ah oh, man! All right, so he has four Simeon Spirit Guides. He can't have more. Three would have, um, three would have worked, but then you wouldn't have had the two to pay for targeting me with the lightning storm. I didn't know that they went off at instant speed, because I didn't really know the thing. Um... So, I chose cons. Um, dragons would have actually won, which is really funny. And I was worried I was choosing the wrong one, but I had no clue. Like, I didn't know that would do it. <laughs> I'm going to play some Doom Mans now. This is kind of sad. All right, so let's go grind the points back up with the two mans. Oh, boy. All right, well, good luck to all of my opponents. So maybe they'll win. So play some two mans. I don't have... That's true. If I hadn't looted, I would have only gotten to spell pierce by now, so I wouldn't have gotten my threats. 
I wouldn't have gotten either Lord. So I might have been able to hold on for a little bit longer, but I don't think it would have been long enough. I don't think I had that game. I don't think I could have gotten it. That's a sick deck. That, like, almost makes me want to try playing it. We should, like, 